Hey folks, what's up? And welcome to Earhawks Minis. Today we have a real quick video on a fast and easy way to paint muzzle burn or heat stressed metal. All right, a bit of a quick video today. Uh, we're going to do some fast and easy heat stressing or muzzle burn or whatever you want to call it. To do this today, I'm going to be using inks. Um, I'm going to be using this uh, Game Inks by Vallejo. I'm going to use Skin Wash, the Violet, and the Blue. If you don't have these and you do have contrast paints, you can use those as well. Uh, some good ones you could try out for this would be Skeleton Horde, the Magos Purple, and Achillean Green. I would thin these down, just like we're going to thin down our inks. So I'm going to get these all laid out and thinned out with a little bit of Lamium Medium, and we'll get started. Okay, I got my inks all thinned out here and ready to go. I'm going to put a picture up here of some exhaust pipes and if we take a look at this picture we're going to see how we go from brown uh, into the purple and into the blue and generally the brown section is a little bit longer um, than the other ones um, and it kind of fades into that brown uh, so that's the effect we're going to try to replicate. Okay, so we're just going to take our inks here and maybe just dab off a little bit. I'm not using a uh, super fine brush, but it is fairly small with a nice point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the main part of the weapon out towards the barrel, but we're going to stop kind of where we want our brown to end, but we're going to go a little bit past. So we're actually making a brown a little bit bigger than we want to be. We want to be able to fade it into the purple. Kind of get those to mix a little bit. And we're just going all the way around. And we thinned this out because we're going to want to do multiple layers of this to, to really get this fade real nice. And we're back to where we started. So I'm going to go around and do this a couple more times. You don't need to see me do the same thing over and over and we'll come back to do the purple. Okay, so I went around that a couple times and that's all dry. Um, you can do this really as lightly or as exaggerated as you want. Um, I kind of got this about here. Um, I don't really want to go too much more solid than that. I, I like it a little bit more subtle. Um, some people like to go really super heavy. Um, it, whatever you want to do, that's, uh, that's up to you. It's your paint job. So next we're going to go on to the purple and we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to get some of the brush and kind of dab off. And then we're going to go partly into our brown and come out into towards the uh, barrel. And again, we want to go a little bit farther than, you know, than what it's actually going to end up being area wise, uh, cause we're going to let the blue overlap that as well. So we're just basically doing the same thing. We're not letting anything pool up. Um, we're just kind of getting this color on here, going a little bit into the brown and then out into our silver part. So you can kind of already see the effect we're getting here on this fade. So I'm gonna go around and do this color and let this dry and we'll be right back. Our purple is now dry, so it's time to go on to our final color, which is the blue. And then we have one more step at the end to finish off the whole thing, which is kind of my favorite part. Anyway, um, basically all we're doing here is going a little bit from the purple all the way out to the end of the barrel. Again, we're not letting, we don't want to let anything pool up here. And we go all the way around and get the top here. And just like the other colors, you can go as heavy or as light as you want with this. It's entirely up to you. Okay, well, I'm going to go around again and let that dry. And we'll come back for the final touches. Okay, our blue is done and dried. And you can see, if I can get focus, there we go. That looks pretty good and it only took a few minutes like there was literally very little time in between uh, when I can't cut the camera and came back um, it was really just drying time um, if it's not completely uniform 
all the way around, that's not a bad thing. Um, that's actually a good thing. If we remember back to our picture of the exhaust pipe, that it was not a perfect gradient of every color all the way around. Uh, it just looks a little more realistic if it's actually not perfect. Uh, one thing I want to do now is to show you how by varying up the colors that you use and the consistency of the materials that you use. You can use a brush, you can use an airbrush. Using the same basic technique you can get all of these different effects. These guys have done some really nice work on their weapons and their exhaust pipe. So with the Instagram links you can go to and see other work by these guys. They do some really nice stuff. Okay so to finish this up, normally I would put a gloss varnish on this but just for sake of time I'm gonna skip it. You, you guys know how to how to varnish so don't really need to do that. Now I don't know if you can see here in this well right here um, I have some of this pigment fixer. Um, you could use other things. You could use mediums, matte medium, uh, glaze medium. Um, you could probably even use varnish, uh, I would imagine. Um, but I'm just using this because I have it. And we, with this we are going to use um, some pigments. Any black, brown black, blue black, any sort of black um, pigment is going to be the best for this. Um, this one is Secret Weapons Heavy Smog. Um, this is a little bit brownish black, um, but it, it, it'll, it'll be totally fine. So, I'm going to get a different brush for the pigments. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of this pigment fixer and just put it on the end of the barrel, just kind of dab it on. We don't really want it to run all over. Uh, we just want it just to kind of stick on there. All right now I'm going to get a little bit of a pigment and just kind of stick it on the front here. I like doing it this way because having the fixer on first and putting the pigments on second gives it texture. It makes it chunky. If we just put the pigments on and then you know fixed it in place, it would be fairly smooth and you wouldn't even see it. This way it looks a lot more like built up uh, carbonized fire sh gun shooting stuff. I don't know, whatever the hell you call it. Carbon build up stuff. So, um, hopefully you can see here um, the effect that that gives. I think that's pretty cool. Um, if that's not enough, you can do it more. Um, don't be afraid to hit it again with a little bit more and then throw some more pigments on. But wait till it dries, otherwise you're just going to kind of soak it all in and it's going to flatten out and probably run down your barrel. So this is a really fast and easy way to get this muzzle burn heat stress burnt metal with carbon deposit look. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. And if you are so inclined, you can hit that subscribe and bell button. And by the way, this channel has a Patreon now. So if you would like to see all the cool rewards, including free merch, you can go and check that out in the description below. Alright, thanks guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week.